In today's video, we show you how to apply selective color to your video. That's right, like in those really cool photos where the lips are red and the rest of the beautiful face is in black and white. I keep saying beautiful face. Well, because they're looking, I'm just- uh, Definitely not. Nope. Subjective, AJ. Mm, yeah, and the they, survey says. I think if you could go to the desk and and show them what you've done. Well, you should. You do it for them, AJ. You do it to yourself. If you want, you I do don't it to mind. Yourself. You can use me as. If you want, you can use me. I'm not gonna. Not gonna use you. Never again. So this is a really simple and powerful stylized effects, which is gonna create black and white images for you that really pop. To do this, we're gonna be using a plugin called the Leave Color Effect. And as the name suggests, that allows you to create a black and white image that leaves one color shine through. It's a really powerful style that's been quite popular with films like Sin City, but just generally gives you a really beautiful and kind of artistic look to your images. To do this, we're gonna be using two examples in this video. The first one is this time-lapse of a boat, and I'm gonna be letting the orange of that boat shine through a black and white image. And the second one is this little clip of a flower. It's a red flower. I quite like it, it looks quite artistic, especially when we make it that black and white look. So firstly, the key to making sure this works correctly is picking a shot that has one vibrant color in it that isn't in much else in that frame. So for example, this shot of a flower, we have that red flower shine through and there's not much red in anything else in that image. The same for the time-lapse of the boat. We've got that orange vibrance of that boat leaving the dock and nothing else in the image is of that same hue. That's a really important thing because this effect isn't that intelligent. It's literally just gonna pick a color or hue that you dictate and allow that to shine through the black and white image that you create. So let's jump into Premiere and get this going. So I've got the first clip selected here, of boat leaving the port. So we're gonna head over to the effects panel and in the search bar, we're just gonna type in leave. And we're gonna look for leave color, which will appear under color correction in video effects. Let's take that plug in and drop it on our clip. And in the effects control window on the left here, we now have the leave color which we can affect. We're gonna use the pipette tool to select the color from the frame that we want to shine through our black and white image. So select the pipette and let's go over to that orange, let's find a nice vibrant bit and select it. So now the effect knows that it's going to use orange as the color to leave and everything else turned to black and white. The next thing to affect is the property here which says amount of decolor. Let's turn that to 100%. Straight away we can see that it's created it black and white and that orange is shining through. It's not quite perfect yet. There's some kind of weird artifacting happening on the boat where it's not quite selecting all of the orange. If this happens to you, which is quite likely, it's not gonna work straight off the bat. The tolerance is the property you want to play with. So moving the tolerance up and down to see how it affects the image. So if I turn it down, it gets rid of all the color. If I turn it up, it starts letting all the color back in. So find the sweet spot for you in your frame. For this one, if I get around to 21%, 20%, it looks like it's taken all the color out of the fields in the background and left that boat pretty well. If I scrub through, that looks pretty good. Once you've done that, obviously hit enter on your keyboard to render that effect inside Premiere. So next up we have this shot of a flower in the street. It's a bright red flower that's against the kind of concrete look of the buildings behind it. I think it looks quite artistic, especially when we apply the leave color effect. So again, head over to the effects window and find leave color, drop that onto our clip. We go back up to our, our effects control window, making sure that that clip is selected. And we're looking for leave color. So let's get the pipette tool and select the red of the flower, find a nice vibrant bit. We'll go to amount to decolor, let's turn that up to 100%. And again, we're gonna to need to play with the tolerance slightly because there's some kind of ugly parts happening here where it's a bit too harsh in how it's letting the color through. So we're going to open this up. If we go too far, we can see the green of the plant is coming through. 90% looks like the best that that can get. What happens if you have, like you've got on this flower, these dark bits in the shadow, we can't use the tolerance tool to let the other colors in because we want just the red. So if this happens, go to where it says match colors. Instead of using RGB, go to use hue. 
You can see by selecting that straight away, the shadow has gone from underneath it and just the red of the flower in that frame is shining through. So there you have it, as simple as that. The leave color effect, it just adds a little bit more style to your black and white images and it really is as easy as that to use. You didn't mean that, did you, about the face? Zero. <laughs> it's not my opinion. You know what they could do if it's that offensive? Yeah. They could do one of those blurry things like Crime Watch. Does Pete have a beautiful face? Let us know in the comments below. And whilst you're down there, why not consider subscribing? Maybe. There's the thumbs buttons. I'm not sure what they do, but they're there. And of course, um, Watermelon Squad. Oh, I was going to push the random affiliate link. That's the bit I get excited about. Oh, go on, then. Go on then. You do it. And of course, while you're down there checking out our stuff, <laughs> make sure you see our affiliate link of the week. Why don't you rummage in our box whilst you're looking at our stuff below? See what you find. Maybe give it a sniff. They're not going to sniff this. Oh, it's a clue, isn't it? A little clue for what the random <laughs> link is. <laughs> I think you're going to like it. Mm, it smells good. So uh, wrap it up, AJ, because it's going on. Okay, so that's been our video this Friday. Thank you for joining us and have a good weekend. Yes. And if you didn't watch this on a Friday, have a good weekend next weekend. And uh, if you're a fan, then uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd hop onto Twitter and help me out with the poll. It's not going well. <laughs>